Hi guys, um, earlier I tried to download a video um, from a news article and this is a local station reporting on this and I will just have to film it off of my computer to show you and afterwards I will show you the article but the video that I posted prior to this um, just pans a photo of Satan or Baphomet with some children and I had put the links to this story and another story from Headline News in the description box because for some reason when I tried to download this video that's the video I got and then I tried to do the same thing on Headline News and I got the same exact thing which is really bizarre but um, anyway um, let me try and um, do that for you. There's a new development tonight in the satanic group's fight to erect a monument to the devil at our state capitol. Once this monument to the Ten Commandments was erected on the grounds of the capitol, other groups said they too had a right to place a monument on the public property. And live from our local newsroom tonight, we're getting our first look at the monument to Satan that's being proposed. News Channel 4's Courtney Francisco has been digging into it. She joins us live. Courtney? The statue will be a symbol of Satan as a goat. It's designed for children to sit on it, take pictures with it, and the group wants it to go right here outside the state capitol, right next to the Ten Commandments monument. Take a look. Finally revealed, a goat figure with children at its feet. The monument the Satanic Temple hopes will soon sit at the state capitol. We decided to go with that because it is uh, a fairly traditional um, character. It also offers a lap that uh, visitors can come to sit on, have their picture taken with. The devil's image sitting beside the Ten Commandments. It's an odd pair, but Satanic Temple spokesperson Lucian Grief says the monuments together represent religious freedom. Not everyone agrees. Well, I think they're trying to get our goat, and I'm not going to let them do that. Representative Paul Wesselhoff believes the Satanic statue won't pass through the Preservation Committee. What will disqualify them has really nothing to do with <laughs> Satan as such. It's that it has no historical significance for the state of Oklahoma. The only reason why the Ten Commandments qualified is because at the Capitol what we do is we make laws. We are lawmakers. Well, one of the earliest laws that we have are the Ten Commandments. So therefore, it has historical significance. But the Satanic Temple says its statue carries the same weight. It, it absolutely is of historic value. Not only would a Satanic monument send a clear and distinct message that America respects plurality, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, but it would also stand as a historical marker commemorating scapegoats, the marginalized, and the demonized minority, the unjustly outcast. Hey. And I contacted the Preservation Committee here at the Capitol. No one returned my messages, but once members receive the Satanic Temple's application, then they're expected to vote on whether it should sit here at the Capitol, and we'll keep you updated. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Courtney Francisco, News Channel 4. And this is the article. The Temple seeks to build a monument in homage to Satan at the State Capitol. So, um... Links are in the prior video that I posted, and um, yeah, you can hear my children wrestling with each other. They're all wound up from being dismissed from school entirely today because we're having like 35 below zero Fahrenheit. Hello. <laughs> Wind chill factor, and it's like 8 below zero Fahrenheit, so yeah, anyway. There you have it.